Hello and welcome to the Hertfordshire Business School's presentation for the BA Honours in Business Studies and its pathways and also the BA Honours in Business Administration. My name is Kerry McKay and I am the Programme Manager for both of these programmes that we're going to be covering today and you will find all my contact details at the end of this presentation and you are very welcome to contact me if you have any questions. I also have two colleagues that support me on this programme, uh, Deborah Maguire who is the uh, programme tutor for business studies and also Joe Zhao who is the programme tutor for business administration and both of those will be more than uh, available um, should you need to speak to them as well. So I'm hoping that I'm going to cover most of your questions uh, during this presentation, but if I don't, then please do drop me an email or you will be able to contact us through the Hertfordshire Business School uh, virtual open day uh, portal. These are the programmes that I'm going to be talking about today. We're going to be looking at the business studies programmes. We have four programmes within this uh, area. We have the General Business Studies programme, which forms the foundation of all the pathway programmes. We have the Business with Leadership and Management programme. We have the Business with Information Systems and the Business with Logistics programme. And if a student wishes to study Business Studies with a language, we also have that option within this suite of programmes as well. And I'm going to cover these very shortly. Within our Business Administration programme, students can study both the General Business Administration as well as the Business Administration with a language. And I will also cover very shortly what languages you're also able to study both within Business Studies and also within Business Administration. Before I start talking specifically about some of the key things that you can be studying or will be studying within these programmes, I want you to think about what it is that you want to do when you have finished. I know sometimes that can be quite difficult for you to think at at this point in your studies because you're only just thinking about I'm coming to university, I'm going to study a business programme. But actually for us, we're wanting to think, get you to think about, so what do I want to do when I get to the end of my studies? Where do I want to be? What sort of job or role do I want to do? And the reason I want to bring this now into our presentation is, as you can see below, there is a huge range of different type of business roles that your business studies or your business administration programme could lead to. Some of these are very specific. They can be around areas of things such as marketing, marketing executives or retail. They can be in things such as supply chain management. If you have an interest in areas particularly related to people and leadership and management and human resource management, then they can very easily lead to roles within human resources, within general management programmes, within areas such as business advising and management consultancy. Project management is also another area that students can go into having had this broad based business programme. But I think one of the things that we need to make sure that you are fully aware of when you start this is very often you're not sure about which pathway or which programme might actually suit you better. And in particular, whether you have to study a particular programme to get a particular role. But I want to assure you that one of the things that employers are very clear about, and the statistics show us this, is that students are far more likely to get a role within an organisation if they have a good degree, and that's a degree where they are gaining a 2-1 or a first, than what their degree title is. So this is very much about you thinking at the end of the day, what is it that I really am interested in? What is it that I'm going to enjoy doing? And at this moment in time, you may have some very clear ideas, or actually you might not be clear about what you want, but neither of those are an issue because you're going to be given an opportunity to explore and study a very broad range of topics which are going to help you start to find out what it is you'd like to do in your future. There are some great opportunities for you to undertake when you come onto a business studies or a business administration programme. Um, two of those are either to study abroad and or to undertake a work placement. 
some of the places that our students have been to study abroad um, for their third year is uh, in Australia. They have been to the Parramatta University in Sydney and they've also been to the Bond University on the Gold Coast. Uh, some of our uh, students have also been to the University of California. Um, they have undertaken both a semester uh, studying at the University of Riverside and also a placement at Disney. You can take part in either our worldwide partnership program uh, where you can study in the States, in Australia, in Singapore, in Malaysia, to name but a few. Or you could also take part in our European programme, where we have students who have studied in uh, all European countries, and in particular, they've studied in Spain, in Barcelona, Valencia and Madrid. In France, they have studied both in Marseille and in Paris. And there are a number of placements, both in Germany and in Italy, that students can study as well. There are many, many opportunities for you to think about for your third year to study abroad um, and you can get more information about this from the study abroad uh, pages on the uh, virtual open day as well. In your third year, you could also take the opportunity if you wanted to, to do a work placement. A study abroad placement allows you to study for either one semester or two semesters abroad. A work placement will need you to study for a minimum of 36 weeks on an approved university placement. But as you can see from the list there, these are where some of our students have actually been and have undertaken very successful work placements. Uh, these are Enterprise Rent-A-Car, these are Vauxhall, Disney. One of them on there, which you probably never heard of, is a very new organisation. It's called the FDM Group. It's uh, an, a tech company in the financial sector and uh, students have undertaken placements there in a wide variety of uh, areas such as public relations, human resource management, uh, business uh, analytics. So there are a wide range of opportunities for you to, to do and we very much encourage you to think about studying either for your third year doing a study abroad placement or doing a work placement. You can also, on the Business Studies and Business Administration programmes, choose to study abroad in your second year. This does require, however, for you to have a programme match to the university that you're going to. It does require a slightly different uh, agreement, but it is something that many of our students also consider doing and have done which means that they will do their first year of study at the university, their second year in their university of choice, either in Europe or on our worldwide programmes. They will then do a third year of doing a work placement and in their fourth year, they will return to the university to finish their formal final year for their degree programme. And these opportunities are available for all students on the programmes. And it's something we very much encourage you to think about. I just want to share with you some of the students who from the previous programmes have actually gone on to successfully do uh, placements. Um, these are, as you can see in front of you, uh, six of our students who've done a wide range of programmes um, from things such as working for General Electric in commercial operations role to working for Vauxhall Motors uh, as a digital marketing specialist. Um, and also uh, working in the aerospace industry. Uh, Lucy King undertook a placement as an HR intern for Airbus. All of these students have very successfully gone on to uh, gain both high levels in their degree and also have got graduate placements either within the organisations that they currently uh, they undertook their placements with or in other organisations. Uh, Abyss is a very good example at the top. She worked for FDM Group, had a very, very successful program year with them um, as part of her placement. Uh, and because of this, um, she was very encouraged by the organisation to apply for their graduate scheme. And as I'm sure that you uh, no doubt will have realised, she got a very good uh, graduate program with them. And uh, 18 months later, she's doing extremely well and really enjoying what she has been doing 
uh, and has been given lots of opportunities to do a wide range of business activities. So I want you to see that um, these are real faces and real students and this is very much what we want to encourage you to do within the programme, which is why one of the key things that we have within our programme is very much a focus around employability and also around you developing your skills and also wanting you to feel a little more ambitious about what it is you want to do in the future. As you've heard so far, we're very focused on your understanding of what employability is and also for you to get you to think about what it is you want to do in the future. So I'm going to ask you a few questions about what you know about graduate jobs. Which company do you think UK business students named as the top most companies they wanted to work for in 2019? Could it be PricewaterhouseCoopers? They're one of the top consulting companies. Could it be JP Morgan? They're in the financial sector, an investment bank. Could it be Google? Could it be Apple or could it be Nike? Interesting. I'm sure most of you are looking at those and thinking, oh, it could be Google, it could be Nike, it could be Apple. And actually, these are the top five companies that students really wanted to work for in 2019. And later on, we're going to be looking at why people might have wanted to have worked for those. They're very well known names. They offer very good graduate programmes, and I'm sure they're all very familiar names to you as well. But when we think about Google, who is one of the top companies for people to work for, do you know how many applications a year that Google get? Is it 1.8 million? Is it 850,000? Is it 3 million? Or is it 500,000? All of those are really high numbers. And actually, Google get 3 million applications a year. That is a staggering amount of people applying for their jobs. Now, that actually equates to 0.2% of the people that they do actually take on and employ. So it's also getting you to look at and understand what opportunities there are out there and actually how you can make a difference if this is the sort of company that you want to get into. And we do spend some time on the programme really working on what your own value proposition is, what you need to do to stand out from the crowd. And one of the questions students always ask me is what sort of salary am I going to get as a graduate uh, student? Very often, graduate student salaries are around 22 to 24,000 pounds a year at the moment within the UK market. But there is a company at the moment which offers a starting salary of 44,000 pounds a year and a fully expensed Audi A4. Now, which company do you think that could possibly be? Could it be Goldman Sachs, again, another large investment bank? Could it be Aldi? We all know Aldi is one of the discount retailers. Could it be Shell? the second largest oil company in the world, or could it be Unilever, which is one of the largest multinational organisations? Well, you may be surprised to know that it is Aldi. Aldi have one of the best graduate schemes in the UK. They also have one of the best graduate salary offerings, reward offerings in the UK. And if you actually look at Glassdoor, you'll see that actually working for Aldi is actually one of the organisations that graduates rate very much as an employer. So these are the sorts of things that we are going to be looking at when we start exploring employability and also what you want to do for career opportunities within your programme. Getting you ready for the workplace is something that this whole programme is around. The programme itself is designed to give you a range of business disciplines, to give you a range of business understanding and also to develop your skills and awareness. I've talked a lot about employability and the focus on you as an individual and how you can build your skills and your knowledge and your CV in order for you to apply for jobs or placements. But two of the other key areas in this is also looking at internationalisation. We work and we live now in a very globalised world and internationalisation is very important for employers. You will be working in your programme with students from uh, various universities from around the world in our partner institutes. I've talked about study abroad and they come to Hertfordshire. So you will have a lot of opportunities to work with students from Europe. You'll have opportunities to meet and, and work with students from uh, both our partners in the US, in South America, uh, and also from Australia and Malaysia and from China. So we will be focusing again both with your experience as a student and also within your programmes of internationalisation. 
And enterprise is another key area that the university likes to focus on. We like to look at what enterprise means in business. And for some students, enterprise will mean thinking about setting up their own business. And we do give you an opportunity to do that. If that is something you want to do, we have innovation and creativity support. We have an innovation hub. And we will also offer students who wish to think about setting up their own business the opportunity in their third year as part of their work placement to set up their own business as part of their work placement. So enterprise again is a focus, as is professional development, understanding not what just you are developing academically, but also what you need to develop with regards to professional skills for the workplace. We offer for all our third year students the opportunity to go on to a mock assessment centre. The university encourages and pays for all students to undertake uh, a one day assessment centre where you have the opportunity to get feedback and have some interviews from employers that enable you to start building your skills and your CV for your placement and for your final career opportunities. And it's a very exciting opportunity for everybody to take part in. So what are you going to be studying in your business studies programme? Well, in the first year, you're going to be studying a core programme, whether that's on business studies or whether you're studying business studies with logistics, with information systems or with leadership management. You can see from this that there's a range of business disciplines you're going to be looking at. You're going to be studying economics with global business environment. You're going to be studying business and markets. You're going to be studying understanding marketing, which is a marketing discipline. You're also going to be looking at accounting, organisational behaviour, which is an HR and leadership management module. Also looking at things like analysing data, business professional starts looking at the skills you need for both study and working in a business environment. And you can also see that this is where your language options come in to your programme. All students will be encouraged to consider taking a language and some of you may already have decided that you want to do business studies with a language. But what you will see is that in order for you to study a language, you will need to select either one of the options below French, German, Spanish, Chinese or Japanese. Doesn't matter whether you're a novice or whether you're already quite proficient in the language. Our humanities department run languages and they will assess you. But what you cannot do is if you are a native speaker, you cannot study the language within your business studies programme. However, if you do decide to choose a language, then you will replace the global business environment module and the technology and business module with your language. A language can be studied in the first year and students can try and see whether or not the language is for them. If language is for you and you want to have a degree which is business studies with your language, then you will need to study this both in the first year, which is level four, the second year, which is level five, and also the final year, which is level six. However, if you choose to study a language in the first year and you find that language is not for you, then there is no problem with that you can then go back to ensuring that you do the core modules or the selective modules at levels five, which is the second year and level six. You can also see that there's a common theme running all the way through your first year. And this common theme is that you are going to be focusing on awareness and knowledge of the business environment. We're going to be looking at your skills and your competences, and we're going to be looking at how you start applying these within the workplace. Within this, you're also going to be having additional timetabled hours. This is where you're going to have support from the program team and our other colleagues around the business school to help you develop all the skills you need, one for study, but also to start building your employability skills, to start focusing on what it is you need to do for the future. And this will give you additional time with your program tutors in order for you to both develop your um, relationship with them, to get support from them and also the fellow students on your programme. Your second year studies are also following a very familiar theme. Again, you can see that you have got core modules in semester A and semester B, but also at this point you can choose module options. If you are on a fixed programme, for example, you've already chosen to do business studies with leadership and management or with logistics or with information systems. 
you can see below that you already have modules that you will be undertaking in those areas of discipline. If, however, you're doing the business studies program, you will actually then be able to choose a module, one for semester A and one for semester B from any of the options below. You do not have to be studying a particular pathway in order to choose one of those modules. And you can see below that there are six areas of business discipline that you can choose from. And also, if you are studying a language, your language will be your module option. And you can see that there are some very interesting modules there for you. Some of those modules are particularly areas in HR, particular areas in marketing. But if you focus on the core modules, you can see very clearly that some of those core modules are what organisations and businesses are asking us for students to, be, to build their skills on. You're going to be looking at business analytics. The world is built around data. It's built on big data. And you'll be looking at how businesses use analytical data to help them make decisions. You can see that you're going to be looking at how business operates, so business operations. And a real core skill for organisations is project management. A really interesting module that's coming into this as a core module is about consumer behaviour. And you're going to be looking at how individuals, customers, groups, organisations select, buy and dispose of ideas and goods and services um, that they need and that they want. And this is really interesting because it helps look at how consumers interact with the marketplace and why they have these underlying motivations to buy. And this module particularly looks at who consumers are, why we buy certain things, why certain brands and products are of interest to us. And if you just think yourself at the moment, if you think about what you're currently wearing, are you wearing it because it's comfortable? Are you wearing it because it's the type of clothing you always buy? For example, is it sportswear or jeans? Are you wearing it because it's the brand? Do you think the brand is something you should be seen in? Is it something that's on trend or not on trend? And these are the sorts of things that you're going to be exploring when you look at those modules. So you can see that you're going to again be having a really broad range of areas of business uh, for you to start looking at and applying. And like we had in the first year, we've got some very clear focus on this particular programme for this year. And it really is looking at how does this work in practice? We're going to be looking at how all these concepts are applied in practice. And we're going to be building on your skills, your competences and your behaviours. But one of the things that you can do within this programme, particularly in your second year, is that you have the flexibility to change if you wish to change modules or you wish to deselect language, or you may have decided in the first year that you want to do information systems, but now you've decided you want to do a broader based project uh, study programme. And you can change to do something that is less specific. Vice versa, if you've decided that really, for example, leadership and management is a pathway that you want to follow, and you decide that you're on business studies and you want to do business with leadership and management, then again, this is where you have the flexibility to change. And as I said right at the beginning of the presentation, very often it's only as we start to explore and we start to get involved in our particular studies, do we start to realise what it is we do and we don't like doing. Um, and that's why we have this flexibility within the programme to help you. So let's have a look at what we're going to be doing in your final year of business studies. Again, very similar to all the other module options that you've looked at. Very core programme here, but this time your core programme is very much focused around business strategy, business planning and how businesses make decisions. And at this point in your studies, some of you may have already done a placement year. You may have done a study abroad semester or two semesters. So this very much now is bringing together all the uh, business discipline areas that you've looked at. Again, you will see that those of you that are on a fixed programme, logistics, leadership and management and information systems will already have your module options selected for you if you want to have your business degree with the discipline. Those of you that are still doing language will still be doing your language in your module options. 
and anybody on business studies again can choose from a broad range of business discipline areas and they don't have to be the same discipline area as you did at level five so again we're making your program very flexible and the focus this year is very much about how do we now look at transferring and incorporating the skills that you have learned from higher education into the workplace. So your final year is very much around being supported, not only to achieve academically, but also for you to now start focusing on where your future is and what you want to do with regards to either further study at master's level or going on to look at a graduate job. I'm also going to be very briefly looking at business administration. The business administration programme is predominantly focused around those students who may be coming to study with us from uh, outside of the UK. It's predominantly an international focused programme. You can see that it runs very much along the similar lines of business studies. There is a core first year with a range of business discipline options and areas. There is also an option to take a language. And if the option for language is taken, then again, business technology and global perspectives in business is no longer uh, taken as a core option. In the second year, you will see that there are no pathway options here. So therefore, students will choose two module options in semester A and two module options in semester B. Again, they come from a range of business disciplines, both marketing and uh, accounting, finance, operations, HR and project management. So as you can see, you have a broad range of options to choose from. Year three in business administration follows the same uh, pattern as year two. There are two core modules in each semester, again, focusing on different areas of business discipline and two optional modules to be chosen in semester A and two optional modules to be chosen in semester B. And again, you can see that these are broad and give students a variety of different types of modules and different areas of discipline that they can um, look into and that they can undertake in order for them to finish their final degree programme. So I just want to recap on some of the differences between a business studies with programme and the general business studies or the business administration programme. Business studies is a fixed program, so you will study core modules and you will already have your modules allocated to you in your second year level five and your third year level six. This then enables you to have a recognised specialism in the degree title. You have to be studying a set number of specialist modules in order for you to be able to have your business with degree title. There is, however, no opportunity for you to study a language with your fixed programme, but you can still study abroad, you can still do a placement um, option, and you still have the flexibility, if you choose not to continue with a pathway, to actually switch to a business studies programme. And on business studies, you will have a set core modules at all levels, levels four, five and six, and you will be able to choose from a wide range of business subjects. You have the opportunity to study and you will be able to do both study abroad and placement. And at your second year, your level two year on business studies, you will have the opportunity, if you want to, to switch to a business with programme. And anybody that studies abroad for a year or a semester or undertakes a work placement, if they meet the requirements of the programme, will also be able to have that recognised in their degree title. So just so that we can ensure that you know what it's going to be like when you're studying on the programme, um, you will be studying what we call 120 credits per year. What that means is that you will be studying eight modules. Each of those modules is worth 15 credits. Four of those will be in semester A and four of those will be in semester B. 
and our semesters are from September to January, which is semester A, and semester B runs from January through to May. Each year you need to gain 120 credits in order for you to have gained 360 credits by the end of your studies for you to be able to obtain a, an honours degree within the UK. What you will need to do is we have a range of ways in which we deliver our uh, teaching. Some of those are lectures and some of those are tutorials. Different modules will have different modes of delivery dependent upon which is the most appropriate. Sometimes you may be in large lecture halls with a number of students and your tutorials will then be in groups of 20 in order for you then to be able to explore and develop the concepts and understand the uh, subject in more detail. Some of your lectures may be recorded uh, and online and therefore you may have a lectoral which is where you then have uh, two hours with your tutor uh, exploring and looking at what those options are. And each module will have very detailed outlines about how these modules work. You'll be fully supported with our virtual learning environment, which is called Canvas. And the majority of our lectures are recorded so that students have the opportunity to be able to replay those and to help them with their learning. I always get asked the question by students, how am I going to be assessed? You will mostly be assessed by coursework, particularly in your first year and your second year. And this could be anything from reports to essays to presentations to video recordings. Some of those may be individual, some of those may be group work. You will, however, have some exams. Those exams tend to predominantly be towards the end of your studies in level five and level six. Some of those may be in-class tests, which are time constrained. Others, others of them may be formal exams. And again, it depends on the modules you study and it depends on the appropriateness of the module itself. So again, you will undertake a variety of assessments, but those will be supported. They'll be supported in your learning. They'll be supported through your programme and they will be supported through your module leaders. For each topic that you study, for each module that you have, all of those modules will have a module leader and they will have a teaching team. And they are there to guide and support you all the way through with your learning and your programme team, which is myself and Deborah and Joe, will help you with regards to both your programme support, your day to day support that you need, both from a study level, but also from a personal level. So you will have all the opportunities you need in order for you to be able to be really successful. We've got lots of things to help and support you with your program as you go through and to help you be successful. I've already spoken about myself, about Deborah Maguire and also about uh, Jo Zhao. Uh, we're going to be here to help you, as are your module leaders and the teaching teams. We've got colleagues who have the Academic Skills Enhancement Centre and they will be able to help and support you with what you're doing, as well as our student support and information services. And we have our state of the art learning resource centres in order for us to make sure that you are supported for your careers and your placements. We have a dedicated careers and placement support service and you'll actually find lots of information about these on the uh, university's hub around what we're going to do. But I want to assure you that this is a very integrated part of your programme and we work very closely with all of our colleagues in these areas and these centres to make sure that you get the best out of your learning. Thank you very much for uh, listening to this presentation and I'm very sorry that we aren't actually able to meet our face to face and for us to be able to have the opportunity for questions and answers around what we're doing and for also for us to start to get to know each other. But you can contact me at the end and I will have all my contact details there. But in summary, some of the things that I just want you to think about with regards to the programme that you have chosen to study. Um, it's a very flexible programme. It really does allow you to have a specialist or a generalist approach to your studies. And it also enables you to think about what it is you want to go through and where you want to be with regards to your employability and gives you the opportunity to change programmes if that's what you want to do. You can be recognised in your programme with some very specific titles 
whether that be study abroad, whether that be sandwich for your placement year, whether that be that you've chosen to do a specialist business studies with, for example, leadership and management, logistics or information systems. And I think importantly is for you to be assured that we are trying to prepare you. We have excellent preparation for a career in business. The programme has been designed with employers. It has been designed with organisations and it is a programme which I'm hoping that you will both study and learn from, but also that you're going to enjoy and enthuse you in the world of uh, commerce and business. We very much are trying to focus on business awareness, but also on your employability. And we really want to support you to get a great learning experience, to get some work experience, and to make sure that you get the opportunity to both engage in what we would call a global mindset. So I thank you very much for listening. I do hope that I've answered most of your questions and I really do look forward to being able to meet you again in the future. But please do drop me an email or contact us through the portal hub if you've got any questions.